Well, I'm here with Ben and Dave from the Austrian team. These guys came sixth in the 2019 World Championships and um, we're still waiting for you guys to go out and get some racing in this morning. But I was wondering if you could show me a little bit around your boat. I kind of wanted to start here with your um, trapeze hooks because I um, personally never had enough faith in my splicing ability to pull something like this off. But do you want to talk us through for some of maybe the aspiring sailors a little bit about the technology on the boat and what you guys are running? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So maybe we start here. Basically, 49er is a pretty nice boat and uh, one design. So there's not too much uh, we can do, but uh, in terms of the lines and stuff, we can choose a bit what we like. Um, and yeah, in general, I think most of you know that many people had one purchase more in here, uh, but 49er sailors mostly just went down to one. So it makes you move up and down much faster. You maybe need a bit more power or a good technique, but uh, yeah, it, it pays off. And for what we had here is also that we made our own hook. Um, they're produced in Italy. Um, the old ones are the, the classic ones used to break sometimes. And then you can get serious injuries if you're in the foot strap. Uh, so we have one that is really designed uh, strong. Uh, it will hold and uh, we actually made a really nice splicing connection. It's all double anima, so you can go like with the outside one, uh, make it thin and with that we can go all the way up. So we get a bit more of a range of, of moving in the trapezes and not losing too much. Um, yeah, I think that's basically one of the small things. We work on the, on the details and yeah, that's it. What about more at the front of the boat we were talking about um, with the jib, with this knot system? Do you want to talk us through that? Yeah, sure. It's, I think we we seen it first time when we moved into the 49 actually a couple of years ago and um, it's it's quite smart because you you just you have a loop and you have a lot of knots and um, you can adjust the height of the chip and you know you can always put it to the same height so you know okay you put it on a third knot on a fourth knot and you exactly know which height it will be it will not move from there you just basically put the loop through the the hole in the fitting the four stay fitting in the front and you put the other side through the chip and you will always fix it safe and secure like this and you can adjust the height quite easy. One thing you don't think about though is when you actually have to get up the front of the boat and adjust it and usually you cop a few waves over the head it can be a bit sporty yeah. up the front can't it? <laughs> it's always my job since uh, <laughs> Ben is helming <laughs> and uh, I'm always annoyed if he's driving fast because then I dig into the wave and like get washed all over. It gets a bit hard but to steer too right when the crew is right up the front. Yeah, I mean, if it's real, real windy in like a couple of days now, we had uh, breezes in around 20 um, more and then yeah, you're out alone on the trapeze, but it's pretty all right. Uh, after many years, you get used to steer the boat actually on your own. And yeah, what we used to do lately anyway now is mostly we go backwards. Then nice. there is no water coming there and, and he's fine. So it's also good if you keep life. the water <laughs> out of the chenaka, yeah. otherwise you have to ho hoist a very heavy chenaka. And as a crew, you want to lie as far back and just reach with your fingertips to change so you're not it movable. <laughs> it's all in the hands of the helm. Yeah, exactly. High risk. Yeah. What yeah, else always. have you guys got going on? Show us about your foot straps. I know sailors are super fussy about their foot straps. Well, I think... Uh, well, in, in general... Uh, Foot straps uh, are quite important, as I mentioned before, that uh, in terms of maybe something breaking on the mast or, or something like that, you, you can injure. Um, but there, everyone can use his own. You see, Germans have a different one to us. Um, yeah, we, we like this one. They are a little bit big, so you can go in and out easy. And especially if you like fall, you can still slip out. You just need to bring a bit more power to, to hold yourself in. Yeah, and then we go everywhere just on the the nice details I would say, small thin lines, everything maybe if possible aerodynamically well, so not used to thick lines, not to be too heavy wherever possible and yeah, it's basic stuff, it's not gonna make you win a race but you get all the details it's good and you feel comfortable with your boat, it's, I think it's nice. And as Ben said, the foot straps are quite crucial for, for safety and quite often we know about people getting injured uh, when they get stuck with the leg in a foot strap and the trapeze breaks or whatever. So there is actually two, two ways people think in the 49er class. Either is to have them rather big so you can slip in and out very easy 
already have them really small where you can barely put your toes inside so you don't get too far in and you will always be on the outside if something breaks. So you've gone for the big option. We, we've gone for the big <laughs> option. <laughs> we got for this, but we know people are going for the small option. And, it's mm. and you guys have gone for the surfing grip tape, nice and soft. Is that a preference or is that just what you had available? I know no, everyone's a bit we, different. We played around actually, uh, all different stuff. That one's pretty good grip, especially once it's wet. Uh, so we like it. Uh, that's what we're gonna race. Yeah. Nice. So hopefully you guys get out there shortly. I've got my fingers crossed. You had a long day of waiting yeah. yesterday. What did you guys do with yourself while you were waiting for the races? <laughs> well, we usually spend some time in the club waiting, playing card games, uh, trying to eat, trying to keep us hydrated and uh, yeah, have, have kind of a good time. Like as stay stay as much awake and concentrated and focused as possible, but not too much, so you kind of get tired. It's always a balance, and I think it's hard to challenge for everyone, but it's the same challenge for everyone. And so, what's your goal this regatta? What are we going for? Oh, so tell well, us the win, the win. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, the wind is tricky around here, so for sure it's gonna be a important thing to to read it well. Um, it's hard to say that, but. Uh, yeah, our biggest focus was in the preparation already based a bit on the Olympic stuff. Uh, so yeah, there are some details we want to work on. And, and in general, it's good to get a good overall result just for confidence in the Olympic year. Nice. Um, yeah. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Good. Thank you. <laughs>